Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the ESC United 2021 interviews. Um, I am joined today by Vincent Bueno of Austria. Hi, Vincent. Hey, guys. Nice to see you over there. Thank you. Yeah. And how are you doing? How has the Eurovision experience kind of been overall? Overall, man, it's it's actually a beautiful, a beautiful experience. It's nice to be here. The wait has been way too long. And, um, you know, just to just to be here um, and, 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 and experience this um, Eurovision vibe, even though with a lot of restrictions, it's, you know, it's, it's very satisfying for the soul. You know, um, it's, it's so good that it hasn't been postponed again and that we're really, really doing this right now. So it's 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 good. It's super good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you were having a fun time. You know, obviously I know it's not the, the most ideal experience because like you said, there are some restrictions in place and everything like that. Um, but hopefully you can, can get the most out of, out of everything. True, um, true that. Yeah. But I wanted to go a little bit back. I wanted to go pre Eurovision with you. Um, because I, I was reading that you have a degree in musical theater, you know, you had done the musical die show in Austria so at what point did you flip from wanting to do kind of like the musical theater to more of like a pop kind of career? You know, that has been my, um, that, that has been a little bit the issue ever since, um, ever since I, I really um, uh, was professional, you know, like when I was 16, I went into uh, musical theater but I always wanted to be a pop singer and I also loved the theater. You know, I, 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 I'm, I managed to, to um, with 16 um, be on several um, musicals and, 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 and Broadway shows like here in, in Austria. But, you know, I think these are two genres that, that really don't like each other. So uh, the, the pop culture says, you know, all of the, all, you know, you're way too, you're, you're way too theater and the, the people in the theater says hey you're you're not really musical you're way too pop so I think it's a little bit dealing with a little bit of an identity kind of like thing but for me honestly why not why not just live both if 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 that just keeps you uh, above the water and, and 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 I love both worlds so it's never ever the question that um I want to switch to one to one world or the other. It's more like, um, I love both worlds. Yeah, it's kind of like finding a way that you can kind of mix the two of them together. And I think that uh, your, your Eurovision song this year is kind of a perfect example of how you can do that because your song is very um, emotional and it's a very, um, really an immersive experience there on the stage. Um, I, I will be honest, I didn't have a lot of expectations coming in because I was like, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, you could do it this way. You could do a big LED. And I watched your rehearsal and it's beautiful. It is, it is amazing. So yeah. I, I want to congratulate you there. But what I'm curious about in the rehearsal process specifically, what did that look like? You know, did you have to like meet with people on Zoom to kind of nail things down or were you able to do it in person? You know, Marvin Dittmann, uh, and his crew, uh, they are amazing. And he's, um, you know, he's a Vienna based, uh, Austrian that, um, actually not only just, uh, does our show, but, uh, uh, I think six other delegations. So, uh, he knows what he's doing. And he told me when he listened to the music, he said, Vince, I know exactly what's, what's, what's happening. And, you know, with everything, just calculating everything, I think that's, uh, you know, I, I told him, who am I, who am I to tell you what to do? Because this is so not my, um, it's not my department. Everything that I have to do is, is sing the song. And that's, that's a lot of work already. But uh, I said, you know, I give you my total trust, do whatever you want to. Everyone does uh, what he can do best. And I think um, now you, you see that, that, that actually um, the trust that I gave him uh, was worth it. So he's he's amazing, Marvin. Yeah, and I, I would say that trust was well-placed. Uh, the product looks yes. absolutely amazing. Yes, um, yes, exactly. Now, specifically speaking about the song, 
uh, because you were internally selected again. Uh, you were internally selected in 2020, 2021. You maybe had a little bit more time to kind of think things through. So how did this song come about? How was it selected internally? Um, uh, that process was a little bit um, of, uh, uh, you know, that time, especially when, when, when 2020 was canceled and they, they asked me again, um, they said, we, we need a new song. So I, I actually tried to create a, uh, a few songs uh, from my own also. And then Amen came about. Um, uh, our, our scout, our talent scout in, in WRF, uh, Ebert Focha, was sending me the song from Unified Songs. And I was like, that song is heavy, man. That's, but it's thick. It, it, it really had, had, had that, kind of like that anointing to to put it to, in a in a christianese way <laughs> mm -hmm. it really had that that spotlight on it and i was like okay i can't get over this song so it triggered me in so many different ways where i'm like i know these i know these emotions i know grief i know separation i know i know anxiety or depression and i felt it that does not just only help me but it could help so many other people so I just feel that um, it was the right song for the right, um, yeah, for the right purpose this year, yeah. Yeah, and, and I would agree. I mean, I, like I said earlier, that message uh, from your song and on the stage, it really is beautiful. I cannot wait for people to experience kind of like what we've been able to do, because uh, I think that they'll, they'll kind of see what we're talking about kind of back and forth. Um, yeah. I was kind of curious, you know, we had talked about your musical theater background, we're talking about Eurovision. Do you feel like kind of those two worlds are kind of helping you in a way that that, that musical theater background of having to be at shows and rehearsals are helping you at the contest kind of keep up with things? Oh, um, I could, I could, it's, it's like a 50-50 thing. It's, of course, of course, um, a little bit of experience and routine is always good, but you know, who had a routine now in 2020? No one, uh, it has been taken from us. So I think it's, it's the, the, the long year experience to be um, well prepared, but also I think live singing, especially in that, that's where I come to, um, not musical actually, it's, it's more um, singing in, in, in the, the craziest, unlovable, unwelcoming concerts if you ever had these kind of baptism in in your musical career then you know thing a thing like eurovision is kind of like the huge the the the, the, the it's like it's like how can i say this it's, it's like spoiling you it's like a, a, a spoiling experience um uh, yeah it's it's if you have ever ever experienced um making like uh, five hours or four hours uh, cover band uh, jobs. So I think it's your vocals in, in the worst case of scenarios um, can must still function. So I think the adrenaline and the stress though is, is, is very high still, but you, I managed to really focus and sing that one song and even giving a lot of interviews, you know, because this whole Eurovision um, world is singing interviews singing interviews so there's also this kind of like self-respect where i say okay and now i need my time i need to actually rest my vocals and you know yeah. so it's it's such a give and take this time yeah yeah well and i'm sure that that maybe the musical theater has really taught you a good practice of of conserving and resting and taking care of yourself uh, totally not not totally. to say that your competitors aren't taking good care of themselves, but you are, you are like, nope, I got to mm, Nope. We're, you know, cut the cameras. We're done. <laughs> totally, what? totally. But I love to give. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually a person that, you know, I'm, I'm a hard worker. And I think that's, that's the main uh, character. If you can, if you ask me, Hey, uh, a trait of, of myself, I think it's hardworking and, and, being empathic but hardworking is you know just troubleshooting all the time <laughs> that's that's who i am that's who yeah. i am well kind of looking over to i had mentioned competition um i have a, a a question that might stump you just a little bit but if you could take your entry 
and replace it with a different one from the 2021 CD. So anything from the 38 other songs, what song would Vincent Bueno perform at Eurovision instead of Amen? Oh, okay, okay. From from the songs of 2020, you think from all oh, the other? Yeah, from 2021. Yeah. Of course, this song. Okay. Um, well, I think that the answer is easy. Um no song because there is no situation like that. <laughs> That's a good answer, right? Okay. Okay. You're not the only person who has pulled that on me. So I will I'll let it go. I'll let you take it. So what if anything? can we expect from you after Eurovision? Are there any plans coming up, projects, music? What, what you got in the plans? Um, I actually, are, I'm already um, working on new stuff right here. I have my microphone, I have oh. my MIDI keyboard and my, um, and my laptop. It's all I need to create new music. So I'm creating and creating. Hey, and watch my VV Jams on, um, yeah, on, on the 19th. Um, it, it it will be it will be cool. I, I actually just uh, created something super special, and yeah, I'm always creating. So um, me having a, a, an EP, I think um, next few months from now. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully you follow Vincent on all the social medias so you get notified once once all of that starts happening. Um, yeah. Again, I I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. I know that you are busy. I know there's so many things going on. Um, hopefully you get your much needed rest, you know, have a lot of fun while you're there at Eurovision. And we can't wait to see you in the semifinals later next week. Thank you, Connor. Thank you so much. And to all the viewers, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Yes. Bye.